As much as most video games understandably cast the player in the role of the hero, there is clearly an audience that loves to be the bad guy. Duh. But sometimes games will have you playing the villain without you even knowing it, at least for a good while. These 10 games all had players convinced that they were playing the hero of the story, only for the game to violently pull out the rug and reveal that, alas, you were the jerk all along. It's a tricky twist to get right, if only because it has the tendency to be either predictable or nonsensical, but in each of these cases, the developer played a dirty trick on unsuspecting players, often resulting in an instantly iconic gaming moment. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 video games that trick you into playing the villain. 10. Braid Jonathan Blow's indie hit Braid was one of the cornerstone titles of the indie game Revolution, an expertly designed puzzle platformer in which the player character Tim attempts to rescue a princess who has apparently been kidnapped by a horrible monster. In Braid's final level, everything apart from Tim himself plays in reverse, appearing to show the princess escaping from a knight while working with Tim to avoid obstacles on her way home. Except, of course, when time reverts forwards, it's revealed that the princess is really running from Tim, who is the monster himself, while the knight is actually the real hero. This was a masterful subversion of both the game's established mechanics and also the seemingly prototypical save the princess narrative gamers have been conditioned to expect for literally decades. 9. Call of Duty Black Ops By its sheer nature, the Call of Duty franchise typically casts the player in the roles of various heroic operators trying to prevent terrorist activity the world over. But easily the most ingenious rug pull in the series occurs in the very first Black Ops, where players primarily play as CIA operative Alex Mason. It's eventually revealed that Mason was a victim of brainwashing at the hands of the game's antagonist, Dragovich, who attempted to force him to assassinate President Kennedy. Furthermore, most of Mason's perceived interactions with his ally Victor throughout the game never actually happened. Victor, in fact, died early on after hijacking Mason's original brainwashing and using him to assassinate his own desired targets. Though carrying out Victor's orders hardly makes Mason a villain, the game's final implication just might. Before the game ends, we're shown an image of JFK on the day of his assassination, which, upon closer inspection, also reveals the presence of Mason in the background, blatantly implying that Mason did indeed carry out his original mission for Dracovich. 8. Star Wars – Knights of the Old Republic Though amnesia plots are accompanied by a deep whiff of suspicion from players nowadays, back in 2003, that wasn't quite the case. And so, when this masterpiece of a Star Wars RPG opened with the player awakening on board a Republic ship with a hazy memory, nobody thought too much of it. The game quickly establishes the primary antagonist as Sith Lord Darth Malak, the apprentice of the true big bad, Darth Revan. But later in the game, the mind-melting plot twist is revealed that you are none other than Darth Revan yourself. As it turns out, an injured Revan was kidnapped by the Jedi Council and mind wiped in the hope of eliminating a major galactic tyrant and possibly using him as a force for good instead. Regardless of whether you turn to the light or dark side at the end of the game, the player is quite brilliantly given the choice, knowing that you're responsible for so much death, destruction and suffering across the galaxy is a damn heavy load to bear. 7. Until Dawn until Dawn is an interactive drama, and so doesn't really play by the rules of a typical video game. For starters, the player controls eight different characters over the course of the cinematic story, as they attempt to survive a night on Blackwood Mountain while being pursued by a murderous maniac wearing a clown mask. Though the player can seek out clues to determine the killer's identity throughout the game, half of the clues are actually red herrings intended entirely to mislead. And, as it turns out, the killer is actually one of the eight player characters themselves. In the end, it's Josh who is revealed to be the killer, staging the Night of Terror as misguided revenge for the accidental deaths of his two sisters on the mountain a year prior. Given that the game points very overtly at several other non-playable characters being Until Dawn's true antagonist, the Josh reveal comes as a genuine surprise. 6. Prototype by 2009, we probably should have known better than to trust superhuman amnesiacs, but open world action game prototype nevertheless managed to play us all like a damn fiddle. Protagonist Alex wakes up in New York at the start of the game with no memory and an array of shape-shifting abilities at his disposal, not to mention enhanced strength, speed, durability and more. 
Manhattan is overrun with infected monsters created by a virus known as Blacklight, only for it to be revealed later that Alex not only helped create the virus, but ended up releasing it himself in a moment of desperation. As a result, he's responsible for both infecting the city and causing his own superheroic transformation, not to mention every other destructive act he commits over the course of the game itself. Though the first prototype was a tad shy about admitting how villainous Alex truly was, the sequel cast him in a less ambiguous antagonist role. 5. Bioshock Bioshock boasts one of the most staggeringly unexpected and downright creative plot twists from any game released this century, with player character Jack attempting to navigate his way safely through the former underwater utopia Rapture. Later in the game, however, it's revealed that Jack has actually been the pawn of his apparent guide, Atlas, having been psychologically conditioned since his arrival to obey any of his requests that were followed by the trigger phrase, would you kindly. Basically, Jack has been doing Atlas's bidding for the entire game. As as much as Jack is in many ways a hapless victim himself, it's tough to reconcile that he ends up beating his own father, Andrew Ryan, to death with a golf club, even if it was a result of Ryan willfully using the trigger phrase to prove the truth to his son. 4. Assassin's Creed 3 Assassin's Creed 3 opened with a big surprise that impressively wasn't spoiled in any of the game's marketing. The lengthy prologue sequence casts players as not the real protagonist Connor, but instead an apparent assassin by the name of Haytham. But after spending a few hours killing people, it's revealed that Haytham is actually a Templar, and you've been playing as one of the damn dirty bad guys all along. The rest of the game then shifts the perspective to Haytham's son, Connor, whereby the player is at least given the opportunity to clean up the Templar's mess, even eventually killing Haytham himself. Still, given the very clear implication that Haytham was an assassin in those first few hours, the twist left fans stunned and more than a little peed off. 3. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Though Lara Croft is generally regarded as one of the most iconic video game heroines in the history of the medium, the recent Shadow of the Tomb Raider finally decided to take the series in a more daring direction with its depiction of the globe-trotting explorer. For the first time in the series, Tomb Raider took a long, hard look at the impact of Lara's treasure hunting and adventuring, especially the morally dubious nature of pilfering artifacts from indigenous civilizations. The game literally opens with Lara kickstarting an apocalyptic event and drowning an entire town after appropriating an ancient dagger, something even the game's real antagonist calls her out for. In fact, several characters Lara encounters throughout the game question her stature as a colonial relic. And though Shadow of the Tomb Raider never quite has a satisfying answer for players, it's at least interesting that the game even bothered to engage with the destructive realities of Lara's actions. 2. Heavy Rain much like Until Dawn, Heavy Rain is an interactive drama game which casts the player as a handful of characters while they attempt to deduce the identity of a serial killer. But Heavy Rain is a little more cagey, dare I say David cagey, with how it attempts to trick players, because though the player does indeed control the killer throughout the game, this character is also presented as an unreliable narrator without the player's knowledge. The origami killer is eventually outed as private investigator Scott Shelby, one of the four playable characters, which comes as quite a surprise given that the player was in control of Shelby when one of the game's characters, an antique shop owner called Manfred, was murdered. Controversially, Cage opted to break with the game's established on-the-level storytelling to make Shelby a secret, unreliable narrator, because, as we learn later, Shelby of course killed the man. Given that players expected Heavy Rain to give them maximum agency over the playable character's decisions, many were understandably miffed by what felt like a cheap cop-out. Still, you didn't see that one coming, did you? 1. The Last of Us now, this will be undeniably divisive because above all else, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us is a game steeped in muddy moral ambiguity, where it's rarely possible to decide which of the surviving humans is truly good or bad. Everyone's just trying to survive after all. But The Last of Us ends with protagonist Joel making a brutal decision to slaughter a hospital full of fireflies in order to save his surrogate daughter Ellie from being experimented on, thereby preventing her immune brain from being used to possibly create a cure for the infection. Joel selfishly decides that he'd rather keep Ellie around than potentially save the human race from annihilation. It is an understandable decision, given the loss of his daughter and the lack of guarantees that Ellie's brain would even successfully lead to a cure, but from a strictly utilitarian, emotionally detached perspective, it was absolutely the wrong choice to make on the balance of the probabilities.
Some may argue that this makes Joel less of a villain and more of a human being, but sometimes the hero is the person who makes the tough, logical choice, and the villain is the one who eschews the big picture in favour of their feelings. And there you have it folks, 10 video games that trick you into playing the villain. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at YouSlyDowlU. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.